What is going on world? What's up YouTube? It's Zero here. Today we have quite a bit of things that happen everyone so let's get right into it. Starting off we're going to be talking about Soar guys. So most of you should know at this point that Soar does have a smite team and uh, they actually just recently made some roster changes to the smite team which I thought was really interesting. Um, they actually went ahead and they tweeted out um, saying roster changes and they basically said although the team was successful enough to play second at DreamHack the internal atmosphere was growing increasingly problematic ultimately it was agreed that changes were, nece were necessary and we parted ways we would like to express our gratitude towards Hurwind and Homifi for their dedication to soar throughout the successful spring split as a result of these changes Evan Snoopy Jones and Andrew Woodward will be stepping in as the new mid laner and jungler respectively and basically if you keep on reading this guys it basically gives you a little bit about each of the new guys who joined which was uh, Snoopy and Andrew who both joined the smite team which I thought that this was really interesting guys um, as you guys are going to be able to, uh, to see here now you can you can see who uh, is all a part of the sore smite team now and uh, they you know these guys I I'm not really familiar with smite I'm starting to get more and more familiar as time goes on um, um, so I don't know like who the best players are and such, but um, I think that Soar, the way that it sounds like to me is that they needed changes and, you know, because things were becoming problematic with whatever it was. And I feel that, that Soar knows what they're doing. These guys, are had, their Smite team has actually been doing very well. And they're, you know, definitely trying to move in, a, in you know, a, a really good direction here with the team. So obviously I think roster changes are necessary for any team. So um, I'm excited about the future of, you know, the Smite team. I hope to learn more about Smite. And uh, let me know in the comment section below if you guys are into Smite whatsoever. Let me know, you know, what you guys thought about these roster changes that Soar had. But uh, anyways, guys, moving on to the next thing two teams brought out some pretty big videos on their channels dare came out with their dare Taj episode 22 which was fucking insane guys it was awesome i uh, i love what dare's been doing over there and l7 came out there lucky cams 34 which was also very awesome guys i liked both of these videos you guys should definitely check them out if you have not already l7 also picked up some very a lot of new recruits to the team which i was extremely excited about so l7 ended up picking up beaver Scoo. Striza and Ruby. I'm sorry guys if I'm saying any of these names wrong. I'm sure I am, but uh, congratulations to you guys on joining. And then they also picked up Spinny, Mahalo, Remo, and Kara all to L7 guys. So this is eight new members to L7. That's fucking amazing. I am really excited to see what all these people do in L7. It should be quite interesting. And then on the flip side with Dare, Dare actually picked up a all new content creator team. Yes guys. So they picked up BCL. They picked up Diza, Busto, Frozen, and JKR all to Dare uh, as their content creators, which is awesome. These guys are all fantastic content creators. I've watched all of them. They are all really good content creators, and it's going to be really exciting to see how these guys, you know, move forward and how the Dare content creator team, you know, uh, goes from here. It should be really exciting. Moving on, guys, to the next thing. So Obey Aeolus uh, tweeted out saying, huge announcement this weekend, as well as the Obey DXR Racer will be coming out sometime really soon soon so let me know guys what you all think in the comment section below what the huge announcement is this weekend it's very exciting and uh it should be really cool nonetheless i'm i'm, I'm very excited and uh moving on guys saw actually had a surprise recruit so this was actually really cool uh, this kid named VXR tweeted out saying, need one or two on Black Ops 3, and Saw Andy, one of the co-leaders of Saw, tweeted out saying, I'm sure you would find people if you asked in the Saw chat, and VXR was like, wait, what? And yes, guys, he was surprised recruited to Saw, he tweeted out saying, join Saw, thanks to Saw Andy. So, uh, welcome to the team, man, I am so excited to have you here, and it was so cool, a really cool way of being recruited, and it was also VXR's birthday, which is fantastic. 
fantastic, and it was just a kind of that icing on the cake. Congratulations, man. Really excited to have you in the team. And moving on, guys, to the next thing. Red actually picked up a new designer, but before we get into that, Red actually tweeted out saying, we aren't done recruiting hashtag RedRC winners. And shortly after this, Red Big E tweeted out saying, I've joined up with the Red Reserve. So Big E now is a part of the Artist of Red, so he's a designer, which is awesome. Very excited to see what he does in the future because he is a great designer. And last but not least, guys, we're going to talk about KSI. I know that he's not really a part of the Call of Duty community, but he's still a part of like the YouTube community, and he hit, he hit an insane milestone today. He hit 14 million subscribers on YouTube. That is unbelievable, guys. And the same day that he actually uh, got this many subscribers, he also came out, uh, the, the trailer for his new movie with uh, Casper Lee is called Late in America, that also came out. So it's been a big day for KSI. Congratulations, man. He's a hilarious YouTuber. We all know him, and he is, uh, yeah, he's great. So uh, anyways, guys, that is actually going to end off the video for the day. I hope you guys did enjoy it. And if you did, leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, stay positive, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.